Hi, um, my name is Elizabeth. I'm a third year law student at Sydney Sussex College, Cambridge. So, first question is, how did you pick your college? So, I picked Sydney for three main reasons. First reason being location. So it's located in the center of Cambridge. It's one of the most central colleges. I think it's probably the most central out of all 31 of them um, because it's right opposite a large supermarket, like the largest supermarket that um, most students go to. It's also just 15 minutes away from um, Sidgwick, which is my faculty, like where I have lectures and my classes and stuff. Um, also, a lot of my classes, like supervision, are in the central colleges around me. So for example, I can walk to St. John's, I can walk to Trinity, or I can just walk to whichever college I need to have a supervision in. Normally it's pretty central and it's quite near to everything. Um, so yeah, that was one of the main factors. Also, secondly, it's for its international community. So I knew that they had a history of accepting international students. So I wasn't, I didn't need to be afraid about um, whether or not um, being an international student disadvantaged me because I knew that Sydney would take um, international students and have taken Malaysians in the past. So, thirdly, the the size of the college, yes. So Sydney is a really small college, so you have a real community feeling, um, and also it's quite, it's very friendly. It's very nice. I think I really enjoyed my experience in Sydney. Um, very much because it, it was a small college. I got to stay in college all three years as well. So, um, so I, I got to be in Central Cambridge for all three years of my degree. So that was quite nice. Um, yeah, no regrets, no regrets. <laughs> Why um, Cambridge over Oxford? So this is quite a quite an important question that I'm sure a lot of people will be thinking. Why I picked Cambridge? over Oxford. So I picked it mainly for its because I liked the Cambridge Law degree better in the in sense of like the structure and also the exam the exam structure. So structurally I liked it because Cambridge allowed me to pick a lot more modules that I would enjoy doing. So for example in second year and in third year I got to pick three out of five of my modules which is more than half of the modules that I'll be learning in that year. So it just made, it got, allowed me to design a lot of my law course to whatever I liked and whatever I was interested in. So for example, I got to do like really interesting subjects like international law and I got to do um, legal history, I got to do conflict of laws, competition law, um, and I got to do all of that within my three years while also doing the seven qualifying law subjects, which is contract, equity, land, um, tort, criminal, like that's all included in the degree as well and you get all these extra stuff so I, I thought it was pretty good also um, exam structure so that that was the main I think that was the main factor for me so Oxford ha only has exams in first year and in third year first year's exam don't count towards anything so everything is in your third year and you have nine papers in your third year as opposed to five papers in Cambridge so I have four less papers to do in my final year now which is very nice I have I mean I mean, I guess you can say that you don't have any exams in second year, that's great, but like it hits you in third year because you have nine papers to do in third year. And from what I heard, it's not a very long period of time. So it means that you might have papers back to back and it was just way too stressful. I didn't want to do that. Not that Cambridge is not stressful in its own way, but at least I wouldn't have the pressure of four extra papers on me. So um, Cambridge has exams every single year. So they have Four papers in first year, five papers in second year, and five papers in its final year. So pretty consistent. By the time you get to third year, you kind of know what you're doing. So exams, I guess, aren't... I mean, they're still bad, but they're not that bad because you've done it the first two years, so you kind of know exactly what Cambridge exams are like. Yeah, and I really, I really enjoyed my time in Cambridge. I love it. I love the degree. I mean, I love the degree structure and stuff, so no regrets there as well. Um, how did you prepare for the application process? So I did a lot of research, so I just checked into... So obviously the first the first question for law applicants is whether you want to do it in Malaysia or whether you want to do it in Cambridge itself. So I chose to go to Cambridge, but 
I understand that now they do send a law professor to interview the Malaysian applicants here. So I think it's fine staying here and doing it here because, yeah, I mean, now you have a law, law professor that's actually going to interview you. That's great. I didn't. So some of my friends in Maya were interviewed by people who did maths or people who did like um, philosophy or just not law. And I didn't like that. I was like, how are they going to, how are they going to, how are they going to like grip know whether or not I'm good enough to do law, they're not even a law professor. So I decided to fly over. I mean, obviously that's not a viable option for everyone, but if you can, I strongly urge you to do it because it was it was an amazing experience. I fell in love with Cambridge when I went over to interview. Um, it made me want to get in that much more. Also, I got to see the professors that were actually selecting me. And I think, I think that it helped me a lot because I don't think I would have been selected if I did my interview here. So that's saying a lot. Um, how did you feel when you got your offer letter? So I was obviously extremely happy. I didn't expect it at all. I honestly did not expect it at all. I didn't think um, I was good enough at interview. I thought one of my interviews was horrible. I remember like crying so much after it because I thought completely destroyed it and what destroyed any chance of getting in. But here I am. So I guess I did okay. <laughs>